morning. Uh, I am going to take you for a drive with me this morning. I'm actually going to take a little bit of the long way just so you can see more. But, you know, I come from Massachusetts and in central Florida here, I don't have access to or easy access to some of the same things I did when I lived in the Boston area, obviously. Now, if I lived in Sarasota or Tampa or even Orlando, right, the city, more city area, I would. But it's more rural here. So it, it um, well, Publix is everywhere and is certainly fine. And I shop there <coughs> a couple times a week. There are just certain things that I don't want to buy there. So when I first moved here, I used to have to go all the way up to Ocala, which is 40 minutes away, to find a grocery store similar to Whole Foods. And there's no Whole Foods really closer than an hour away from the villages and same thing with the Trader Joe's and those were the two stores that I used to shop in all the time uh, for the most part so those are the types of products I'm used to eating and the way that they're uh, situated around here I just, just it's not an easy access so last fall they opened up Earth Fair in Lady Lake, which is about 20 minutes away. Sorry about the camera, guys. It slipped. There we go. Um, and so I'm going to take you up there with me today. I'm not going to take you into the grocery store, but I'll take you for the ride. <coughs> so you can see what's outside of the villages. And I'll, like I said, I'm going to take a little bit of the longer way. <coughs> Sunday morning at 8 o'clock so there's really no traffic so it, it doesn't matter if this was later on in the day I would not go this way because the traffic would be crazy but anyways um, usually when I go I go up Buena Vista and um, you guys have seen that road a gazillion times many resident YouTube channels so I am uh, oh, I'm sorry this keeps slipping let me see if I can fix this okay I'll keep my eye on it um, I forgot what I was gonna say anyways I don't really have a whole lot to tell you guys today I just thought I would take you on the ride so you can see a little bit outside of the villages <laughs> Um, where I'm taking you today is Lady Lake and that is where you would go for the majority of um, your chain restaurants and your like Lowe's and Kohl's and Best Buy and things like that. It's a little more uh, commercialized than right here around the villages. And really, it only takes about 20 minutes to get there. It's not far. When I say I had easy access in Boston, I mean, I just, everything was close by, obviously. So it's still not far. So I know I'm not the only one who moves here and misses having access to stores like Whole Foods or Trader Joe's uh, when they come here. But like I said, Publix is perfectly fine. I shop there a couple times a week. Uh, the other grocery stores around here are Winn-Dixie and Aldi, uh, which actually I've never been in either one, so I couldn't speak on those. But right now we're on Powell Road. And if we were to turn around and go in the other direction behind me, basically we'd end up right, right 
next to Brownwood Paddock Square. So that's kind of where we left from. We left from Brownwood Paddock Square. We're going on Powell Road towards 301. Obviously, we are outside of the villages right now. You can stay straight on 301. I mean, straight on Powell and go to 301. I usually take this little cut off here. It's not exactly a shortcut. Um, but it is um, just a little way that I like to take. Takes you through a little bit of a neighborhood and it still brings you out onto 301. So we're going to go to 301. And then we will take a right onto 466. See the chickens on the side of the road? Um, and then we will take a left onto 441, which is where Earth Fair is. And that's the main commercial road through Lady Lake that I mentioned earlier.
this intersection here is 301. We're going to take a right onto 301. is the village of Summer Hill and on the right is the village of Belvedere
Wells Fargo, a Chase Bank, Taco Bell. You get the idea. Gas stations. So this is 466. here you'd go into kind of the older section what they call the historic section if you took a right here you would end up
this is a Sunday morning at 8, 8.15 in the morning. There's no traffic. Uh, but during the middle of the day, obviously, when everybody's out and about, you know, this is a busy, busy street. And forget it in the winter when it's season here and more people come to stay here. Traffic's really bad here.
441 so you can see more of the commercial areas. Have a good day, everybody.